Hi, this is Debbie and welcome back to Cheyenne Life. Just wanted to do a couple of short videos on some recipes that I am doing today just for a good dinner for tonight, Tuesday. And this is going to be a roasted chicken. I'm actually going to be putting it in the rotisserie. Um, and if you have a Goodwill near you or a thrift store and you come across one of these carousel rotisserie um, chicken roasters from Sunbeam, these are well worth a little bit of money into them because they make such a delicious rotisserie chicken and they are so, so easy to clean. You can actually remove these doors, completely clean those inside and out, and you can remove the interior shielding right here it has a little tab and it just slides right out I'm not going to slide it all the way out because I am getting ready to roast to roast a chicken in here and I have these will hold up to a six pound chicken um, and it just has a dial timer which I actually crank it all the way to the end because I'll, we like our rotisserie chicken to be absolutely done and I have basically a five pound chicken here. It's actually 4.84 pounds and it'll be enough for our family of four. And what do I do? This is actually gonna be the recipe that I have for um, chicken broth. Anytime that I'm going to roast a chicken or even make fried chicken, anything that has to do with chicken, then Anything that I trim off, I make chicken broth out of. So that way I can go ahead and have it in the refrigerator for the next time that we have some meal with chicken. We usually have chicken twice, sometimes three times per week. And what I do is I just cut off the end pieces on the tail as well as the tips of the wings because no one ever eats those anyway that I know of. I'm mean, sure there are, I'm sure that there are some out there that enjoy that. And then any little uh, extra pieces, maybe some fat. Um, sometimes the chickens will have a large piece of fat that comes off right in here. And I trim that off and we just go ahead and put it into a big stock pot. And then to this stock pot, I go ahead and add two bay leaves, as you see, as well as the chicken pieces, some herbs de Provence. And I get this kind of herbs de Provence and I just find it at TJ Maxx. There you go or I can make it myself I have done it either way but these are convenient and they're pretty cheap so just a good option and I usually buy two or three at a time so I have them on hand and also I add one carrot and I just it's a almost a whole carrot I just basically cut it in half or cut it in thirds toss it in as well as a stick of celery and a little bit of paprika about a teaspoon of paprika and about a teaspoon of onion powder and about a teaspoon of thyme just add it in here and then some salt um, just enough salt to taste and then a little bit of pepper just to give it that extra boost of flavor um, i'll also add a half of an onion that i just cut into quarters and then just toss it in here i'll try to leave it as in as big a piece as possible as you can see right here so it's easier to pull out at the end because I don't leave the vegetables in. I just go ahead and put the broth in a container and put it in the refrigerator. Or I may, if I don't have any use for it, go ahead and just can it up. And then I'll keep it in my pantry. But it's a very quick, basic recipe for just some chicken broth. And then you just boil it for about 45 minutes to an hour with the giblets in there. And then I can go ahead and pull the giblets out and use that for giblet gravy. Um, and usually I just go ahead and crunch up the giblets like the liver, um, heart sometimes and just chop it up and put it into the giblets gravy and everyone just absolutely loves the gravy. And I might go ahead and give you the recipe for the gravy as well. But this is how we make our chicken broth and then I will be doing a separate video here in just a moment once I go ahead and get this chicken prepared to go into the rotisserie and I'll show you what I do with that. Um, I would do each and every step. Unfortunately, I don't have a tripod or a way to set this phone up. This is a phone that I'm using to record in order to get it step by step. One of these days, maybe I'll have that, 
but of course I always will include the recipe down in the description below the video so you can check that out. Anyway, like, subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell to get notices on future videos, and we'll see you in the next one.